Hey, it's Vanessa from CraftyGemini.com and I post weekly crafting and cooking videos here on YouTube. This week I'm back with block number three of our video quilt along. Here's the block we'll be making today. It's called Mr. Roosevelt's Necktie. It was actually named after FDR who oftentimes wore bow ties. I think it looks more like a doggy bone than a necktie, but that's just me. Let's start with the supplies we'll need and jump right into making our block. As usual, we're gonna need our rotary cutter and mat and the rulers, some pins and a marking device, and your fabric. About a quarter yard each of a light and a dark fabric, but scraps will also work fine. Then you wanna cut your fabrics into the corresponding measurements as I've listed here on the screen. I'm also going to include these measurements in the description box below this video. Now let me jump in real quickly here and clear up this 7 8 of an inch measurement. A lot of people get nervous when they see other fractions or different numbers that are not whole or half inch measurements. So here it is, real simple for you. Take a look at this ruler and where the fabric is lined up. You can see that the fabric is lined up at the one little stick one to the left before we get to that five inch measurement. All that means is that in one inch, okay, between the number four and five on this specific ruler, we split it up into eight equal sections and the seven eighths means seven over eight, right? Which means you wanna take up seven of those little sticks and just leave one of them extra. So no need to worry, just look on your ruler. Every quilting ruler I've ever seen has these eighth measurements. So one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, five eighths. Whenever you see that over eight, just count the little sticks over and that's where you should be lining up your fabric. To start, you wanna take the two bigger squares, put them together with pretty sides touching, lay everything nice and flat and put a pin on the top right hand corner. Take your ruler and draw a line from one corner to the other on the diagonal. I'm using a chalk marker here then I'm gonna secure the other end down as well, and I'm gonna stitch a quarter inch to the right of that line and also a quarter inch to the left of that line to get two seams like this. We're gonna cut down that center line now, and I'm laying the ruler right on the chalk line that I marked. Now you wanna take it to your ironing board and press these open with the seams going towards the darker fabric for your two half square triangles. Don't forget to clip those dog ears. It just lays everything nice and flat and keeps everything neater for you. Now you wanna measure and double check your measurements on your half square triangles. It should measure three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And if you need to trim away any excess, go ahead and do that now. To lay out my block, I start with one light fabric square in the corner and then a backwards L made up of the dark squares. I can repeat that now in the bottom corner opposite and reverse with the three squares there creating that backwards upside down L. Lay my half square triangles in the center so they meet up on point. And now you have left is to fill in the remaining squares with your little light fabric squares. It's real nice and simple. And basically the block is made up of four rows of four little blocks each. So you know, as we've done in all the other blocks, we're gonna sew these together across to create the rows. And then you're gonna sew the rows together and you're done with your block. Let me show you here where I have the four rows created already. You wanna make sure that you're pressing these seams in opposite directions. The first one is going towards the left. Then the second row here, I press the seams to the right. And you wanna continue that pattern with all your rows because remember what that's gonna do is allow those seams to abut nicely when we grab them here and pin them in place and then sew with our quarter inch seam allowance. You wanna make sure that you're aiming to have these perfect points or try to get them as best as possible. And you can see there all the other ones look good as well. And your block is complete. Now it's gonna be up to you to decide which way you wanna orient the block once we start putting them together into our actual quilt. Now that your Mr. Roosevelt's necktie block is complete, set it aside with blocks one and two, which I hope you guys have been working on. But if you haven't, no worries. I've created a playlist, which I'll link to right here. And if you go there, all the videos in this quilt along will be listed. Right now, we're just gonna have blocks one, two, and three. But eventually, once I'm done with the entire quilt along, all the video for each block and for putting the quilt together and everything will be right there. So if you have no time to join us right now for the quilt along, don't worry, it'll be posted to that playlist indefinitely. Keep posting your pictures of your completed blocks to our Facebook page. We always love to see what you're making and what fabrics you're using for this quilt along. See you guys next week with another tutorial.